Son, so how is it going with the girls? I hope you are comfortable with the whole arrangement. Your mom thinks it's the best for you. Do I have a choice? You and mom have been taking decisions for me all my life. Besides, the girls are already here. Let me play along. Ah, no, son. You have a choice. If you feel uncomfortable, then you can choose to back out. But well, we can also always send the girls back to their home. It's okay, father. Let mom have her way. Can I go back to my chambers now? It's okay, son. Son? Once again, I am sorry. Just to let you know that I am proud to be your father. Thank you very much, father. decide to lock up himself. He will decide to be all alone. You know, this whole thing is becoming to seem like a child to me. The prince spent all day with that little brat and basically has no time for any one of us. Making it seem like she's one of us. What is it with the two of them? <laughs> I wonder if they had that arranged for him already. Why then bring us to this place, making us look like fools? I won't stay here all day. I'd rather give the prince a piece of my mind and make him know how we feel. Excuse you! And who asked you to be our spokesperson? Mm. Listen, if there's someone who needs to tell the prince how we feel, I should be in the one in position to do so. As our spokesperson or what? I brought up the idea of talking to the prince, not you. So you sit here and watch me walk to the prince and make him understand that we are not man who No, you understand. do no such thing. No. Ah! Friends, you know, I've been meaning to ask you a question all day. I, you know, I. <laughs> My friends, um, there's this um, Angelo Galazzo pant I saw online. I think it will fit you. you just, I wanted them to bring it to you. Just, I was kept poor about your size. Maybe your size that's 6 or 38. Dummy, he's 38. Do you need someone to tell you that? <laughs> My friends, you know, I wanted to ask. What is your favorite meal? Because I wouldn't mind taking some time out to make something really palatable for you tonight. What is the meaning of this? And you, why are you sitting down there staring at us like a moron? Since you're that lesbian, you want to go inside and get me a glass of juice. Get up! You won't. Now well, listen, she's a dear friend to this house. Here. So treat her with some respect. So it's What is the meaning of this? The meaning is simple. Stop giving us a hard time with this. Give him some breathing space, little brat. We just want to sound a note of warning. Stop making him not notice that we exist at all. Yes. Why are you being a barrier to our progress? See, I don't have time for Simon. All I'm saying is that stay away from the prince. Is that okay? Okay, ma. Oh, you see you. <coughs> you have to take me three minutes to move my way from my foot. Just to keep you looking quiet because of the The queen and the prince. For you three don't want to respect you, especially you, Winter, Hamata. Now you they make noise pass. I've been looking at you. You they spread. They spread for the palace, spread like their sheets, spread like malaria. Before I close my eye, open my eye. Three of you, delete. And if I don't, oh you don't know my name. Where did I go wrong that Miss Harrietta should make me part of this uncourt maidens? Royal game. Royal game. Mm. Royal game. Royal game. <gasps> <gasps>
So that the prince can choose you. Not with that arrogant bastard in the picture. I think the prince likes her, and that's what gives her the guts to do all that. No. 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 The prince cannot stoop so low. It's not possible. The thing is that um, she helped the prince out of a very bitter phase of his life. And that was it. Nothing more. Well, um, sorry about this, okay? Oh. I will tell the chief maiden to come and take care of your pains. Hmm? Okay. Sorry. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> mm -hmm. searching for you everywhere. Are you okay? Were you missing me? Sarah, talk to me. What is it? Nothing. Sarah, you can't tell me there is no problem when your face is like this. Please, feel free. What is it? My prince, I'm having a hard time with those girls. Especially Snow. That, that kid is evil. Very wicked. They think I'm taking too much of your time and that you're not giving them all the attention they need. That was why I kicked against bringing those girls into this palace. But never mind. The truth is, Sarah, I like you. Yes. I like you a whole lot. You make me happy. You make me laugh. To crown it all, each time I'm with you, I have inner peace. 
Just that I do not know how to say this all this while. I'm serious. I, I see. <laughs> what? This romantic movie has just ended. Get out. Get out. Why did you let me go through the stress of putting all this together then? Mom, I was never in support of your plans from onset. It's all your creation. You practically forced it down my truth. And now you want to ruin everything just because of that little brat? No, mother. I won't have you speak ill of Sarah. I'm involved in this because of the little brat, like you called her. But the truth is, I like her so much, and nothing can change that. So the earlier you send your drama queens to where they belong, the better for us. Excuse me. Yes, yes, he has his royal mm. game. Royal game. His royal mm. game. Royal game. His royal mm. game. Royal game. Royal game. Royal game of the mind. Hi. Oh, hi. I never get to know your name. Because you never asked. Well, my name is Samara and you are. This is funny. You mean you abandoned all you had to do and come here to win a man who don't even know his name? <laughs> of course you know I know your name. I'm only asking because I want us to formally introduce ourselves. Hmm. Smart one. Thank you. You are always reading your book. You don't hang around like other girls. Why? Well, we weren't born of same parents, so you don't expect us to have the same trademarks, do you? Even siblings differ in nature. They say different folks for different strokes. Not so. Another smart one. Thank you again. I'm impressed. At least my mother was able to get one smart one. Thank you again. I would like to have a drink with you when I return. Do you drink? Of course. I wouldn't mind. All right. Okay. That would be what I'm talking. All right. My prince, I can see you're going out. Obviously. Um, do you mind if I join you? Uh, I need a breath of fresh air. I'm beginning to choke with all these girls around here. Where I'm going to, you may not like it. I'm going to chill with my men. Oh no, I don't mind. It's a nice thing. I hope you don't mind if I know you may like it. Alright. Royal game, 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 Royal game,
I called you here for two reasons. First, what I heard my son talking to you about earlier today. Sarah, I hope you have not started getting ideas in your head. Because if my late father should wake up from the dead and makes a joke about both of you, I will personally find him. My queen, I don't have anything to do with the prince. Nothing. We are just friends. What he said today was just a joke. We were practicing drama. Drama. Really? Just a joke. Yes, joke. Drama. Joke. Joke. Young lady, when I hear a joke, I know. Moreover, Lutana is my son. I came back to him. And I know that he hardly jokes. Listen, you have to stay away from my son. It is not a plea, but a command. Is that clear? Yes, Your Highness. Good. The second reason I called you is Snow complained to me that you were using her to perfect your fighting skills. Well done. Next time I get such a report about you, you will have me to contend with. You may leave. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Uh, sir. Your Highness. I just want to remind you on something. You see those girls? Can you still remember what you and your parents feed on in the village? Good. That is exactly what they feed their dogs and servants with. It's not an insult. I just want you to know that there are class differences. Know your peace. Get out. Inside the royal house, everything is possible. Strange things happen every day. For royalty is big business. Your car is pretty cool. You know, actually, my father just got me a Range Rover Sports. Which I considered not feminine, so I asked him to change it to an SUV or something like that. Good for you. Um, can I shock you? I've not driven all my life. My father's drivers have been the one driving me, you know? Because I've been in the States and I've been in the state where I studied in London School of Economics. Oh god, that was one of my best experiences. <laughs> Your question. Uh, you studied in London School of Economics in the States. So you studied in London and States at the same time? Um, you know, right, um, my father does not care how much he spends on me. As far as his body gets the best, he actually pays $250,000 a year. Um, I got admitted at the School of Cambridge for my master's degree, but I decided to go to Oxford where I had my degree in chemistry. You must be highly exposed because you've traveled in London, right? Yeah, I don't feel like it at the moment you need to get married, so. It's all good. It's all good. Son? Ah. Why did you want to have dinner with us? I'm not in the mood of eating. Why? Does he have anything to do with the girls in the palace? Come on, sweetheart, if you don't like them, I can arrange for another set. That's the point, Mom. My name is not King Solomon. I mean, how could you? You brought in four different women from different backgrounds for me to choose from. 
Come on. I am a full grown man. I know what I want in a woman. I have my own test and class. What's all this? Lieutenant, I hope it does not have anything to do with Sarah. Now I understand. If you need the touch of a woman, let me know. And I'll ask one of the girls to come. Mom, can you please act your age and as a mother for once? Okay. So what do you need? I need to be left alone, Mom. Just trying to help. So let's keep every sentiment aside and try to be objective here. And what have been objective got to do with the issue of brand? Why are you provoking everybody? Excuse you the hell out of me? Oh. What the hell do you mean by provoking everybody? Oh, are you done with your bad cheap gossip? And now you're coming at me directly, huh? Listen, Snow or whatever your name is, Miss Eretta defined our rules of engagement before we came here. Oh, and can you say by any sense of responsibility that you have been abiding by those rules, fool? Oh, just so you don't know, this is the king's living room. I don't see a reason why you should take some stupid calls here, dummy. You don't know who I was talking to and you have no right to rank my call as useless. Stop getting on my way before I see you. Oh, see who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> time for useless assumption. If you fail to define your boundary and restrict yourself to it, I'll be forced to cut you into size. Oh, poor Snow. Look at you. All this drama is too much. I just, it's getting really hot in here. Ah, shoes. You don't know one rule. You don't know one rule. This family, especially the way she will never allow somebody like you to go close to yeah, her son. I've told you this thing before, but you will not listen. Eh? And who says I'm going close to her son? Eh? Eh? The queen is only thinking that way because of the closeness between the queen and I. Eh, eh, it is not thinking. She's not thinking anything. It is the truth, Sarah. Ah, it is the truth. Eh? You think you think all of us are all blind? You not say you don't get sense. You don't have common sense. Sit up. You and what you are thinking is not my problem. You see that again? Snow. Hi. Hey. Snow. If we were in Nando, back in Nando, uh, uh, that girl will be visiting Ikene, the chemist man for treatment every day. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. And you don't give that girl back. Shut up. Just shut up. Sarah, what's your problem? You want to kill somebody? I beg. Let me beg you. Don't go into fighting with any of them, oh. Please. I forget about them. Just keep looking at them. You understand? You know their job. Hmm? Their job is. Is key. Is way. Is key. Is key. Is way.
very serious. I was told she was out there with you. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, no. No. Uh, yes, actually, she was here. But she left. To where? Uh, 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 she said she wanted to go and buy. Hi. Uh, she wanted to go and buy cement. Cement? Yes. What for? Uh, she said she wanted to cement. Cement defense. Mm. Sorry. She wanted to cement uh, that broken pit at the backyard. Ah, you don't know, Sarah. Very hard working with my brain. Way back, and uh, if you come to Nando, everybody knows. I'm not for this young man, you stay. Once she's back, tell her to see me at once. Okay, my prince. Hope my message is clear. It's very clear. <laughs> very, very clear. <laughs> my prince. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Too many things can happen to a man. He would decide to lock up himself. Prince, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Please sit. Thank you, my prince. I wonder what is running through his head. Is he admiring me already? Oh my god. I know you will be wondering why I sent for you. Exactly, my prince. It came to me as a surprise because it's never happened before. But who knows? Maybe my prince is beginning to like me for real. Mm -hmm. Well, like is an understatement. I admire your sense of responsibility. Now tell me, are you faking all this just to impress me or is this the way you lead your life? <laughs> I am not a pretender, my prince. I am being for real. And if you look deeper, you would see I'm living my real life. Okay. Keep it up. Thank you, my prince. You may leave. I'll talk to you some other time. Thank you, my prince. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You mean you couldn't find her? No way, my prince. Where could she be then? I don't know. I've already checked her room twice and I couldn't find her. Does it mean she left this palace without anybody's consent? <sighs> I, I don't know. Go and look for her again. Tell you what you do to me. 
if you find out I'm lying to him. How will he find out if you don't tell him that you are lying? Hmm? Yes. Okay. Tell him I have malaria. Hmm? Iba. Strong one. Let's just touch my neck. I'm not feeling really fine. I'm sober. Very sick. I need to sleep in this room because the AC is, is working very well. Yeah. Yeah. AC. Yes. Iba. Yeah. Okay. See. It's okay. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna tell him that. You have malaria Thank you. inside the condition room. Hmm? You know, get sense. You know where? Even me may get malaria, I still get sense. If you mention anything about me sleeping in this conditioned room, I'll deal with you. Oh, yeah. Go. 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 For the same dramas of yesterday. Ah, okay. You look so disturbed. Are you okay? Have you seen Sarah? Excuse me? I mean, did you just ask me that? Oh, my prince, come on. You can't do that. I mean, how can you possibly ask me about a girl that your mother, in her wisdom, told us that she's a nobody? I mean, that's rude. Oh, but, but that's by the way, actually. Listen, my prince, you know, I am a lady, a pretty one at that. Listen, I was thinking, don't you think it's high time we start making plans on how to, you know, spend some quality time together, go somewhere very nice, like go we'll see a movie and all that, you know, have fun. What do you think? Oh, my prince, uh, I, I did not see her. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. Once you set your eyes on her, fetch her. Do just that, my friends. I have to look for Sarah. Excuse me. I... 
I I I I what? What is it? I'm not telling you this so that you could have a fight with your mother. Mm. I knew this has something to do with my mom. No, 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 no not at all. No, not the way you are getting the picture, no. She... She only asked me to... to stay away from you. Now listen. Forget about what my mom said, okay? I want you to be free and comfortable. No one can stop you from being comfortable in this palace. Not my mom, not even the king and all those girls. Okay? Yes, sir. <coughs> now get ready. I'm taking you out tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I come to think of it, how long do you think you can hide away from your shadow in this palace? Well, my friends, it is a big palace. If I decide to hide, you won't find me. Like I'm doing now. <laughs> and I'm sure you won't find me. I will future. find you. I will. I have been informed of the recent happenings in the palace. And it amazes me because such a situation has never arisen in the palace. And I have not even hired any new staff for such changes to take place. Now I warn, whoever is involved in this act should desist from it. Because I will not be lenient with such a person when he or she is caught. Is that clear? Yes, yes, yes. 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 I hope I need not remind you that whoever steals from the royal household will be sent out of the palace. And by royal household, it includes our guests because they have been complaining bitterly. You may go back to your duty post. Bloody thieves. I don't know who's stealing. Hold on. At all times, they all protect that interest. Oh, oh, what is wrong with you? Are you sick or something? Are you just hating on my skin? I'm sorry. No. Come on, Bella. That was only a mistake and could happen to anyone. Why are you making a fuse? Miss Righteous! At least allow her to express her anger. Sometimes I wonder how the royal family stands a bunch of lazy idiots. Get out! Get out! Look at her! Is she even staring at us? Oh, see now, eh? This is my lovely skin. Madam Bella. What? Um, <laughs> uh, one woman, they are outside the gate. She said she wants to see you. A, a, a woman? Bella? Why would a woman be waiting for you outside the gate? I wouldn't know now unless I go out there to find out. Oh, please do. Later. What? Why are you following me like a flyer? I said I would kiss it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they didn't give you a hundred. Don't worry, I'll bring the drink for you and clean the other one. Such nonsense. What's that joke saying? Um. Why would this guy slap me? Just because I'm walking in the palace. Hey, sorry for the slap. Eh? This one is like, 
Stick this one inside there. It is not a weekend matter. The people you ask us to borrow money from for the things you needed to buy to come here are all on our necks. And why has the prince not choosing you with all those beautiful things you bought? Mama, the competition here is very high. Yo. It is very high. <laughs> Mama, see, about the money, you know I can't possibly do anything here now. I'm trying my best, Mama. I'm trying my best. See, just go. I'll send you the money later, mm -hmm. please. Are all this going to be in vain? And uh, I don't know why you refuse to appear your real self like I advised. Oh, Mama, see, please, 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 just forget about that, eh? See, let me tell you, that time is oh, olden days. Now is a new age. See, leave me to myself. I know what I'm doing, Mama, please. Ah, don't, don't talk about that, Mama. See, come on, start going. Come on, start going. I don't want anybody to see. You won't put me in trouble. Ah, Mama, be going. Are you not giving me transport fare? I don't have any money for transport. Mama, sit down. Sit down. Don't come here again, please, Mama. herself. Eh? This slap she gave to me is the hardest slap I've ever received in my life. Eh? Can you imagine? Hmm. So if you had done something worse, she would have cut off your head. That girl is so mean. I don't even like the other one. I mean Snow. But this very one, ha! She has the worst character. Honestly. Charles, ha. I swear. I swear with my life. If not for the respect I have for the king. Ah, I would have given her a harder slap, walk out, pack my bags, and leave without waiting for the king to even send me out. I'm just glad I'm not working in her section, honestly, because I'm not going to take any form of abuse from anyone. Honestly, I'm not. Hi. Sorry for what happened, okay? So sorry. I just heard Ijeoma and Jiffy talking about it, so I decided to come and see you myself. I have to go back to my duty post. Can you right? imagine? Just try as you can to avoid. I think what I'm calling it. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I must find a way to deal with that girl. She can't go and punish. She can't. And yes, if I rightly recall, we were meant to understand by Miss Henrietta that your father was a civil servant that retired from the Ministry of Defense. That's right. So, why are you behaving like the daughter of a general overseer? Or did anybody tell you in your wildest dream that the prince is looking for a nun for a wife, silly? <laughs> you know, I've been doing every possible thing to avoid all your troubles in this palace. 
So, why can't you let me be? No, no, I'm not gonna let you be. Because you're too sneaky. Excuse me. Like yes. See, I can take all things already. But surely not anyone messing around my things. She's talking about, can you give me the big no, baby? Hey, for nothing, respect the fact we are in the palace. Yeah. Oh, fuck that crap. A perfume I got through my life visit to Paris for 700 euro has gone missing. All I'm saying is that anybody who has it should bring it out already. Happy, are we ever going to come out of this nonsense? Why are you accusing everyone? I'm not accusing everyone. I want to say that whoever has got my perfume should bring it out. Do you think perfume is so expensive to be stolen? Do oh. you know what 700 euro is? Yeah. Yes. And who asked you to call me? I did. Yes, you got for nothing, idiot, joke. Are you going to claim that you are unaware that I am so qualified right here in this palace to other you around? Huh? Wait, <laughs> 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 What to other me around? As what? Did she just like play her beauty hands on me like like now? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Now, you listen to me, you trap. You said the other day that you are in charge of only God knows what. So tell me, tell us rather, what in your little scruffy mind do you think that you're in charge of? Say it. God, help me that. If I deal with this girl, help her my tongue. You see, in our land, man. A land of peace and progress. We have a pattern. And that pattern is to mind our business. So I will ignore the trap that calls another a trap. <laughs> I mind my business. Did she just call me? Yes, stop right there, fool. Stop it. Did she just call me a trap? It's okay. Why well, you call me a trap first? No! You can't talk back at me! You know why? Because I am way classier and more beautiful than you are! Stupid! Can't you guys just... Excuse me, shut up. What's that? So, I'll just... Yes! Fine! Fine! No! Fine! You can't call me a trap. Fine! Yes! You slap me and slap you even harder. Stupid Hamatan, you slap me. Oh, 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 oh. Don't put your hand on that. Stop. 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 Because it's the first time. But if it ever repeats itself again, I will send you back to your home. I repeat, if it ever repeats itself again, I will send you away from here. But my Shut up. Don't speak unless you're asked to. Oh, Your Highness, I don't think you're handling this thing the right way. I mean, what right has she got to lay a filthy hand on our guests? I don't know. I cannot remember asking for your opinion in my judgment. Now, did I make myself clear? Yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. <laughs> you all are just annoying. Silly things. Mm, royal game. Royal game. Mm, royal game. It's royal game. Mm. Oh, <laughs> 
Please, no. Mm -mm, no. See, the last time you advised me not to wear these boots, Enna, that thief, she carried my boot. I cannot risk leaving this boot anywhere. If I'm sleeping, I'm wearing these boots. If I'm eating, I'm wearing these boots. I cannot leave this boot all over. Marcus. All right, I've ordered a maiden to dress you up tomorrow. Yes, 11 a.m. My prince is okay, but, but I must wear my boots. I must wear Please. Okay, let me kneel down and beg you. I don't want you to wear this boots. No, 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 my prince. You, you don't have to kneel before me. You don't. I'm just a commoner. Okay. I'm um, not wearing the boots. No way it's a boat. You have to carry the boat as you are going. Then one guard to hold the boots by inside so that nobody will carry the boots. We need to go with it. That's okay by me. Thank you very much, okay? 11 a.m. tomorrow. No problem, my prince. Good night. Good night. No. What is it you want to tell me that you're finding very difficult to say? Not exactly, my queen. It's not really like I'm finding it difficult. Then out with it. Okay. My queen, I think the prince is having an affair with Sarah. What? No. It's not possible. It's not just possible. My son cannot stoop so low as in dating a commoner. No. My queen, with what I have been saying and with what I saw today, I am convinced that something is going on between those two. What did you say? Well, I saw them You know what? You may just be right. I think I misread their friendship for a relationship. I guess you're right. You see, Sarah has been the only true friend my son has had in the past three years. You don't need to worry your pretty head. There's nothing going on between them. Are you sure? Okay. So, I'll just retire back to my room now. Okay. So you take care of yourself? I will. And stay beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I will be. Alright. Okay, dear. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. You're welcome, dear. This girl is still hanging around my son. <sighs> what do I do to this trap? My prince, I can't believe you brought me here. If your mother finds out that I left the palace with you, she'll be very mad at me. Come on, Sarah, can we stop talking about my mom for once? We are now in our own world, a new world, so let's enjoy our world, okay? <laughs> okay, but then I want to ask, why are you always here alone? I mean, the first time I met you, you were here alone with Uche. And today, we're here together alone. Why? Well. This place is called the Parliament. It's part of our family business. Oh. Yes. And where you are is reserved. This place helped me bring back my sanity and inner peace. 
this same place I met this beautiful angel sitting before me. Can we stop talking about this place and talk about us? <laughs> okay. I'm listening. Good. <laughs> Please forget about why I'm laying down and listening to me. I'm always here because this place was part of my healing process. This same place gave me peace and comfort. This same place I met this wonderful creator sitting before me. This same place I met this beautiful angel <laughs> that made me smile from the deepest part of my heart once again after a very long time. Sir, so, please, will you marry me? Never. This will never happen. Not when I am still your mother. It will not happen. I am still talking and you are holding him. Will you take those filthy hands off my son? Keep it low, man. Keep it low. And stop shouting like someone that is demented. What? Oh, yes. Oh, haven't even said a word about this since they told us. And you're here shouting and ranting as if you want to bring down the roof. You're happy now. You're happy now, right? Because of you, my husband called me demented. Something he has never done since he married me. I tell you something. This will not happen. What do you call this? What kind of union is this? Pitiful union? This is a mistake. And I will not say yes. It will not happen. It will be over my dead body that this will happen. Adana, why are you swearing against your son's happiness? Moreover, when did you start taking decisions from me? You know what? I'm done. I'm done listening to this. You, you people are hurting my ears. I will not listen to this anymore. I will not! I will not! Nice move. 
You think you have won the battle, right? I tell you something. The battle just began. The battle line has been drawn. Leave the prince alone. If you disobey me, I'll make you regret ever stepping your foot into this palace. It is not a threat, but a promise. And I keep my promise. Now listen to me, sweetheart. I know you think you're defeating my friends, but let me tell you something. Not even your stupid dead grandmother has a clue about being royalty. So you quit trying <laughs> and just be a wee little good girl and like on your stupid bed. Royal game. Royal game. And then I stop shouting. I will shout. I will shout because keeping quiet will make you think you're doing the right thing or even making the right decisions. For goodness sake, can't you ever see things from my own point of view? Both of them are not meant to be. I have tried to tolerate your excesses in recent times. And it is getting at me. Can't you use your brains? We destroyed the life of our son years back. And here you are wanting us to go the same lane. Why don't you just let this little girl be? Why are you stressing this? This girl is an adorable girl. Oh, please. Your Majesty, please. Don't even try to blackmail me emotionally with what happened to our son years back. I don't even see anything adorable about that, Sarah. What you should be thinking about right now is what we have to do with our guests who have already arrived. What do we do with them? Send them home. Yes, send them home. Remember that you also received some training to become the woman you are today. <sighs> After all, you, you were nothing before my parents brought you to me as a wife. Oh, yes. Please, let this little girl be. Oh. I need to retire to bed. Royal game, the game in royalty. Mm, royal game, royal game, mm, royal game, it's royal game, mm, royal game, royal game, royal game of the mind. Yes, 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 it's royal game, royal game, it's royal game. Mm, Royal game, it's Royal game, Royal game, Royal game, Royal game of the mind. Hey. Hey. What have I done that someone has not done before? What crime did I commit? Is it because I'm poor? No, no, I'm not poor. I'm not poor. It's not a useless father. Oh, that useless man. He refused to make money. I know I will make my own money. I will make my money because I am. I will... Oh, can I see them? Thank you. Darling, you shouldn't be doing this to yourself. I mean, you just got engaged today. You should be dancing and not mind what anyone says. Uh -huh. Why are you this nice to me? You don't want the prince like the other girls. <laughs> I won't lie to you. I want the prince as well. I mean, he is cool-headed, cute. <laughs> in every woman's dream. But then you can't fight for the heart of a man that belongs to another. Do you think so? I know so. So cheer up and stand up for what is rightfully yours, right? Oh, don't cry. <laughs> don't cry. 
Ah, it's okay. <laughs> Very good. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought a girl like Sarah would end up with the priest of Akoka Kingdom? Do you men in Islam believe my source? Why won't we believe what you are saying? Is everything not obvious? Honestly, Sarah is just a lucky girl. Amongst those beautiful girls brought here, the prince chose her. See true love. I told you girls that my source is a true fact. Mm -hmm. But come, where do you get all this information? I wonder. <laughs> oh my god. If I tell you girls where I get my gossip, what will be the fun in it? Besides, I think you girls should go back to your duties. Because if the queen finds us here, hmm, we are as good as dead. As for me, I'm going. You're welcome, my elders. As we all know, in line with the tradition of our people, when the heir to the throne finds a future queen, certain traditional rites must be carried out. Your Highness, we all heard the great news. But what bothers us is that this girl in question no one knows where she's from. Her parents, her background, and all. That is not too good. So we seriously need to look into that. Well, rightly said. We may not know her, yes, but we know somebody who knows her. But before anything, we are already making arrangements to get all information concerning the leading question. Lies. All lies. There is no way that girl will ever become the queen Adana. of Adana. If one more word from you, I will send you out of this place and you will find yourself in your father's house. My elders, I'm sorry about that. Uh, we need to start making preparations. But first, we'll start by sending delegates to her place so that we can get appropriate information about the girl. At least we need to know everything about her. <coughs> Your Highness, Pardon me. And I don't mean to go against your decision. But if you ask me, I will say that this lady in question, who I have seen on different occasions, is not befitting of a queen. It is adding to God we bless you. Amen. In fact, he has already blessed you with so much wisdom. Thank you, Your Majesty. I have been singing this thing into my husband's ear but no he wouldn't listen to me he said i was overreacting have you heard it from a wise elder now have you heard it woman your... hold your peace woman mm -hmm. and let the men do the talking yeah. okay, okay. Mm. i don't know your majesty i will not caution you again on this issue My elders, it is true that the lady in question does not possess all the qualities of a queen. But we're already working on that. We have already employed a tutor who will coach her on the necessary things of becoming a queen. I call this meeting so that you can start making preparations after the necessary information have been received, the main thing will happen. That will be all for now. 
Igwe. So your plan is to sabotage everything for me, eh? Mama, what's wrong? What are you doing here? Don't you know that you could end up spoiling things for me if anyone comes out and sees you? Does it look like I care if someone comes out and sees me? All I am saying is that it's either you give me the money or I will step an inch from here. Eh? I will send you more money as soon as I become the prince's wife. Everything is working out as planned for me. Don't come here and spoil it for me, Mama. Uh -huh. This is what you've been saying for over a month and some weeks now. When I call, you will drop the phone on me. Just go in there, pack your things so that we could leave and continue with our plantain business. So that we could make some money to release your father from himself. Mama, bring down your voice now. Uh -uh, bring down your voice, Mama. Come and start going. Eh? Someone <laughs> could come at here and see you now, please. Come and start going, Mama. Very nice. What is going on here? Your Highness. Uh, uh, my, my, my king, she, she's my, she's my father's gardener. No, um, my father's cleaner. My father asked her to come get something from me. <laughs> this girl has killed me. She is my last daughter. Uh -uh. Huh? This thing standing here is my daughter. Hold on a second. Bella, is she your mother? Begging. Who is Bella? Onye? Her name is Chekube Philomena Ofa. She is my daughter. Chekube. She forced her father and I to borrow money. That she had some projects here in the palace. Hey. And we did. Three days ago, her father was arrested. Hey. And I don't have any money to bail him out. That is why I have come to take her home. So that we will continue with our plantain selling. Ah, hey. So we could raise money to bail her father hey. out. Give me the Wait, wait. Give me plantain what? I can't believe what I'm hearing. No, but hold on a minute. Mama, I, I mean, Madame Caro, stop saying things that are not true, eh? My king, do my hair. She's, she's lying, don't listen to her. She has a psychological problem. So I'm Keep quiet, keep quiet. No, charge, hold on a minute. Is it not the same uh, Bella that was introduced to us as the only daughter of uh, Oliver Okongo, uh, the CEO of Okongo yeah. Trading and Sons Trading Company? Yes, yes, yes. Chekube, <laughs> you even denied your identity. Hey! Now listen to me, uh, Bella or Chekube, uh, whatever your name is. I want nothing but the truth. How did you get here? Just tell me how you got here. Was Herita not given money to do proper investigations before sending names to, to you? Speak to me, how did you get here? My king, I, I gave Mr. Herita some of the money my, my, my parents borrowed. Hi. And, and um, she covered up for me. I don't have anything to do with the Okungu family. Aku. I don't have any association with them at all. Your Highness. Please, I don't want any problem. Just release her for me so that I'll take her home. Uh, madam, there is no problem at all. Um, you will go with her right away because she's not getting into this palace anymore. Is that okay? But before then, I'm going to ask the guards to go in with her and get the rest of her belongings. No, my and you are going to bring out only the things that she came here with. Yes, okay? sir. Uh, as for the money that you are owing. I'm going to order them to send some money to you to offset the debts. Thank okay? You so you can take care of it. That's. Oh, 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 
Plantain seller. Mm. that shall never end. I always knew there was something fake about that girl. The way she talks, the way she orders us around, acting like someone who has never been served her entire life and is being served now. Ooh, that slap. That slap is what I cannot forget in a hurry. Como plantain seller had the guts to slap me who receives more pay than her. No, I must find that girl and return that slap. I swear. <laughs> The next in line is that one that was like Peacock, never letting her feet touch the ground as if she's walking on the sky. Can you imagine? Mm. I can't so wait for her to leave. She speaks too much, Grandma, and it aches my head. Mm. They should all go my lap, Sarah, to be happy. Although I like Amara because she's easy going and calm. But unfortunately for her, the prince is already with Sarah. I just hope she will find a man that will truly love her someday. Mm, I hope so. We all pray for that. Your own prayer should be the other way around. Information means that. Thank you. Sabiens. Mom, you're happy now, right? Don't tell me you're happy. Imagine the shame and disgrace your so-called angels brought upon this household. First a kleptomaniac, now a liar and a plantain seller. What a disgrace. Son, please stop. I will not have you mock me further. You did that earlier and I kept quiet. I did this whole thing for you to be happy. How on earth was I supposed to know that Nana and Bella had been... She could be forget. Listen, Mom. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Fine. I concur to the fact that Sarah does not have the threats that make her queen. But that is something we could work on. Treating her appearance cannot change the fact that she's not have the kind of background I want for my daughter-in-law. Let us forget all this recent drama, please. Why don't you choose Snow? She is decent and I'm sure she will make a good queen. Spare me that more. Snow. That drama doll. The daughter of a brewer that will end up becoming a drunk. Come on. If I had not chosen Sarah, Amara would have been my best bet. Yes. At least she has the characteristics of a queen. Son, forget her appearance. I know her type. She is cunning. Honestly, she will change like a chameleon the moment you get married to her. Who knows? She might even convince you to throw your father and I out of this palace. Well, I... I will not even allow you to choose her as a wife. All right, Mom. Let me summarize this for you. One, you don't have the right to choose a wife. Two, I am not here for you to make choices for me. Three, the earlier you accept Sarah as your daughter-in-law and start treating her as one, Finally, send those little angels of yours out of this parlor so that we can have peace and space. I tell you something, son. There will never be peace until you start thinking straight. We shall see about that. Yes, we shall see. Yes? Whatever, whatever. In the royal house, there is a permanent interest. Interest that is above everything. Interest that is above everybody. Water, wine. At all times, they all. Thank you, Lord. 
interest, interest that is above everybody. They can pay anything for that interest. They can go themselves for that interest. Above all, above everything. Greetings, my queen. I wasn't expecting you to show up. You took me on the land. I know exactly what is going through your mind right now. And I've come to deal with it. You know what's going through my mind? Snow, I am not just a woman, but also the queen of this land. And before women come to me with their problems, I already know what their problems are. You have been thinking about the way you've been fighting over a man with someone who cannot even sit with you. And because of that, you want to go. Very true. You actually know what's going through my mind. Sincerely, I was going to come to you to tell you that I'll be leaving tomorrow. No, Snow. You will not leave because you are already a winner. And winners don't quit. Have you bothered to ask yourself what people would say if you abandon this process? What people would say? Mother, truly, I don't care what people say or think. Listen, this whole drama, this whole thing, I have had them up to here. I don't want to keep up with them any longer. Very soon, the workers in the spas will start making mockery of me. I even feel they make side comments when I walk past them. I can't keep up any longer. Please, mother, let me, let, let me go, please. Well, child, you will not go. Because I, I already have a little plan. And by the time I am done with them, a lot of things will change around here. Listen, sweetheart. I don't just make promises. I keep them. Your Majesty, my Queen, with all due respect, and with no intent to question your authority, this well laid out plan of yours. How sure are we that it will work? Too many things can happen to a man. He will decide to walk on himself. He will decide to be all alone. He will decide to speak to nobody. My friends, whatever it is, could be deeper than the mind. Could be deeper than the mind. And it's buried inside of me. And what is the game? Amara, why are you leaving? Did my mom say anything to you? No, she did not. Leaving the palace is my decision. Mm. Yeah. Did you notify the king about this decision of yours? Of course I did, including the queen. Actually, I just finished talking to them some minutes ago. Amara, you are such an amazing person. Oh. If I hadn't found this wonderful woman beside me, you would have been my pick. And I would have been honored to be your wife, my prince. But from the depths of my heart, I'm happy for you both. You two belong to each other. Now promise me that you won't allow anyone come between you both. I promise. That's more like it. Come here, darling. I'm going to miss your funny jokes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, are you getting emotional? I'll miss you too. Aww. You're a very nice person. Aww. 
I will miss you more. But just don't beat down the whole palace, please. I'm <laughs> <laughs> beating in you. <laughs> I'm already free to visit anytime you wish. Oh. You are indeed a true friend to this royal household. Thank you, my prince. I will always visit. And of course, I'm going to be here for the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Safe journey. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Four pretty maidens were brought here so the prince could make a choice of a wife. And Sarah was supposed to be a supporting heart to the fulfillment of this purpose, but no. She thought it wise to cunningly dance her way into my son's heart with her stupid jokes. Now I'm left with only snow who I think is the perfect bride for my son. There must be a way to get Sarah out of the picture. And that, I must make sure it happens. They can go the search for that interest Above all, above everything They can kill for that interest they can pay anything for that interest And we can't you shall show me I'm sure you've seen everything that is happening in this palace And how Sarah has betrayed me After everything I did for her Well, Marcus, I didn't call you here for us to start pondering on what Sarah has done. But ways we can correct, correct it. And that is where you come in. Me? Yes, you. You must just see, what can I possibly do? Eh? I cannot stop her from loving the prince. Or force her to go back to the village. At least you can try to be sensible for once. Who said anything about going back to the village or even stopping her from loving the prince, dumbass? Calm down, Snow. I will handle this. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Marcus, what I want you to do for me is very simple. I want you to lure her into your room and play our game. Which is your game? What is your game? Your mother say I have not been playing games. Oh come on! You will not stand there and give that holier than thou attitude. Like you've not been with her in your room like countless times doing all that. Your mother say you not the one. Calm down, my mother. It's okay. You don't need to shout. Okay? Idiot! No, no, no. He just no. called me names. Come down, come down. Marcus. Your Majesty. What I want you to do for me, like I said, is actually very simple. And it is something you can do. Listen. If you succeed in doing this thing, you will be five million naira richer. Jesus! Oh, yeah. Five million naira! They can pay what is it? For that interest, they can go the search for that interest 
So tell me, what is wrong with you spending night in my room? <laughs> After all, you will soon be my wife. Soon you said. We'll have to wait until we are properly married. Then we can do whatever you want. Are you Can't serious? You here. Moreover, you keep me here in your room every night, and that is not nice, you know. Now let me tell you, you know why you're saying this? Because I've unlocked this door and... <laughs> Swallow the key. <laughs> I love this donor, I've swallowed the key. But you know that won't be possible. It will Oh, I totally forgot. Marcos actually sent one of the maids to tell me that he needed to see me. I need to go. No, come on. What is Marcos? Tell me you'll give him an excuse to leave, right? No. He said it's very important. I need to see him. <laughs> Good night, my friends. <laughs> I hope you don't want your queen mother to come here. I'll imagine. let you. I'll let you go on one condition. What? Come give me a hug. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Makani unanya kasifeni leo Omoni huronanya Apu obye kolu gine luo Why did you say to me? The cook told me that the queen asked her not to serve you food Have you eaten finally? I don't know why the woman hates me so much. I don't know what I've done to her. Uh, forget the queen. Okay, forget her. See, I went out and bought you juice and bread. Hi! Look at it. Look at it. Open it. Open it. And go back to your room. Oh, my one and only sister. And I can open, open, open. I'll be here allowing me. Open. I'll let me stab you in this palace. Stop, stop, stop. Open. Decided to come here. Mama, we're not going to do this. 
Oh, Lotana, come on. Don't give me that. What are you going to investigate further when the one we trust has already proven beyond every doubt that she has no moral edge? Big trust don't lie. Oh, Big king. trust don't lie. My Take son. it from me. Shut up! My king, my king, my king, I did not do it. I, I said, shut up! You are an immoral woman, Sarah. And you cannot speak before the king, let alone dreaming of spending your life with my son. Take her away. Yes, she's my sister. Did I deny that she's not my sister? She's your sister, and you slept with her. This is how useless people are in your town. Uh, uh, Uyeka, don't provoke me by bringing my time into this. You understand? If you don't know anything, just shut up. What nonsense is that now? See, if what happened is different from what we were told, why then are you hiding here? Why not go out there and tell the, 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 the queen what actually happened? Who is hiding? Who is hiding? Eh? Listen, she was one that came to me and asked me to give it to her. And I did it. Hmm? Yes. Of course, the queen is punishing her because she was the one that came to me. Hmm. Don't be angry, John. Did, 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 did you do it? That the one. You idiot. Close us out. You slept with her. Idiot. Ha! You don't need to just shut up. Listen, sir. This is actually the first time I'm asking you for a favor. And I'm sure you will not disappoint me. So, what do you want? I want her to be picked up and remanded in custody until my son is married. We are talking about a poorly trained girl who talks anyhow. If you do this for me, you will be rewarded accordingly. I will give Thank necessary you. instructions. Your Majesty, does it look like he would do this? He does not have an option. The Queen of Akopa Kingdom does not make noise, but she has a voice in this land. Whenever she talks, men tremble. Yo, mama. Oh, my prince, my ever charming prince, you shouldn't be like this actually, listen, I think you deserve better, you know, but anyways, you should be happy that this is happening now, rather than much later, don't you think so? Get out. Excuse me? Are you talking to me? I, you know, I was just trying, like, I... Maybe Get I lost. Oh, okay, uh, that's fine. I was only trying to be a... Like, I'll just go. drugged at that palace. And I woke up and found myself in the arms of the kids, man. Everything is a setup. A setup. I, I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing in the police station. Just, just give me the chance. Give me the chance to prove myself, please. From what you're telling me, it's clear that you don't know what you're into. Exactly. I don't know. 
don't. But, okay. Why did they not give me the chance to, to defend myself from the palace? Why was I thrown out of the palace? And why was I arrested? Do you know any good lawyer that can defend you tomorrow? What do you mean by lawyer? De defend me tomorrow. Look, the people you're up against are the mighty in the land. Hey. My area commander has been briefed and he's going to make sure that he executes the plan. So if you have any contact of any lawyer, just give it to me and I'll make sure that he or she comes to court tomorrow. I did not say you committed any crime. I'm just telling you this because I want to help you. Look, the people you're up against, they are going to make sure that what they started, they'll finish it. Hey. Lisa, I don't have any lawyer. Nobody. I don't know anybody, no family member. I don't know who I can call. Then you have to start praying. You have to pray all night. Pray that the judge will throw away the case. They will send you a lawyer, but he's not going to be serious. You need God, now more than ever. Yes, I need you. What is it? Has my father said anything to you? How did you know? Because he has become the only one that brings me word from him. He wanted me to confirm if you've been purged of your stubbornness. And what did you tell him? I told him the truth. That you're now a new woman and that you've learned all your lessons and you've learned to listen to wise counsel. Um, what did he say to that? You may be out of here before the end of the month. He's working towards signing your bill bond. Once that is done, you will go home. That would be great. I can't wait to be free again. <laughs> Importantly, as your former roommate has been freed, would you want me to get you another roommate to keep you company? Who? A young woman who got remanded. She's neat and intelligent. I think she'll make a good roommate. That officer that brought you here is Belinda. She told me about you, how neat you are, and very intelligent. I gave her my consent to bring you here. So you should count yourself very lucky to be spending your time in my private room. Because you won't have a dissonance if you were sent to the general hall. I don't know how I ended up here. How I ended up in this prison. The police officer asked me to get a lawyer. I told him I didn't have any lawyer. I don't have any lawyer to defend me. He said, okay, that they were going to get me a lawyer that would defend me. The lawyer said he knows everything, that he would defend me. And then I agreed though. He said I should tell them that I am guilty of all the charges, everything they are saying that I did, that I should agree. And I said, fine. I agreed. The next thing, I found myself here. That is it. Mm. Mm. 
Well, my name is. I cannot take this anymore. I can't. This cannot continue to happen. Is it because I'm keeping quiet? No. Woman, bring your voice down. Shouting is not going to help anything. I've already asked everybody to come out here. Why don't you just wait until they're all here? Eh? Then we can start from there. This way. Look at them. Look at them. Look at Go to that side. Look at all of you. Look at them. You are all thieves. Ah, woman. Thieves! Be quiet and let me speak. Ah. Now listen to me carefully, all of you. The queen has been complaining that a lot of things have been missing from the palace. Now, it is her box of trinkets. Very expensive trinkets. And we all know that no ghost will come into this palace to remove those trinkets. It has to be one of you here. One of you here must have done it. So, I am going to ask the queen and Snow to go into your rooms and search and woe betide you in whose room this box of trinkets will be found. Yes, Mr. Anthony. There is a reason I've not been getting involved in our family business for the past three years. My father provoked me beyond the limit I could take, so I decided to walk up. More reason I'm surprised with this your call. Is everything all right? Yes, everything is all right now, Mr. Anthony. I am appointing a team of auditors to come and audit our corporate affairs for the past three years. Uh, uh, is your father aware of this? I am my father, and my father is me. They will be there tomorrow, cooperate with them, Mr. Anthony. Is this a kind of African magic or what? Eh? My wind? I've never told it before. I, I don't know how this thing got into my room. Eh? In Nando, where I come from, the land of peace and progress. Still in the set of you. I've never told it before. Will you shut up? <clears throat> Why is it that when you're nice to people, they always disappoint you? <laughs> eh? yes. Marcos, uh, uh, what do you want to do with my trinkets? No, Shut no. up! Shut up! Well, Marcos, <laughs> I am glad mm. that you know that even in Nando, where you come from, stealing is a taboo. <laughs> shut up! Shut up. <laughs> mm. Well, now, you are going to leave this palace immediately <laughs> for stealing from the royal family. That's a taboo. <laughs> yes. Read <laughs> my lips very well. You are going to leave this palace by yourself before I hand you over to those who may make you live otherwise. I don't know if going to leave. I don't know if you are leaving me. I don't know if Now, this is exactly what will happen to any of you that does the same thing. Interest that is above everything. Interest that is above everybody. In one short sentence, why are you calling me? Uh, my queen, I know you are the one doing all this thing. I know, you are doing it. Everywhere. Hey, I played it. So, that check that you promised to give me, the 5 million naira, uh, how do I get it? Should I just tell me where to come and pick it, or I send somebody? Or do you want me to send you my account number so you will wire it immediately? <laughs>
It must be very stupid to think I will give you five million naira for that little thing you did for me. You know, I forgot to ask you how my trinket box got to your room. I've always known that you are stupid, but I never knew you were this foolish. But, but my queen, I, I, I played my own very well. The game. You play your own now. Will you shut up? Let me warn you. If you ever call this number again, your people will be looking for money for your funeral. You are the daughter of a judge. How did you end up in prison? I underestimated my father. He was actually the one that passed the judgment that landed me in prison. Huh? Should I tell you the truth? nothing against my father. He wrote his name in gold with a judgment. And I'm hoping to be free from here so that I can tell him how I treasure him. Hi! I want to understand something. I mean, am I going insane already? Your father passed the judgment and sent you to jail. And you are here praising him. I, I, I don't understand. How did it happen? I can't believe you brought me to your house. And why not? Are you not my boyfriend? See, you should start getting used to me now. And the process starts with you getting used to my father. Well, it's okay. I mean, just that I've heard a lot about your father. And how strict he is as a judge. I equally know he's a knight in the church. Do you think he would like the idea of a guy visiting his daughter? Come on, Sean. My father is a learned man and well traveled. Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't have a problem with someone visiting his daughter, trust me. Um, it's I'm um, just trying to. Oh. You have to miss that. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. It was with really the young man my daughter spoke to me about. Um, he is that. His name is Sean, my friend. Okay. Well, good night. You may leave us. Let me have a private chat with him. Okay? He must have a reason for the decision. He concluded that Sean was not a credible friend. He painted him as, as someone who was not qualified to be with someone like me. I really felt wounded because Sean, with everything in me. Why are we here? Um, well, 
People who are in love must not have a reason in doing all things. Love alone can push you in doing so many things. And to answer your question, if you look around you, you see this is a love garden and we are here because we are in love. I love you so much. You have an explanation for practically everything. Sincerely from my heart, my love. I love you the more. You see, way back in Amsterdam, we discovered that every woman wants a man to explain everything to her. So, you see, I am loving you the European way. Do you have a problem with that? Hmm. Why would I have a problem with a standard that is already turning me crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you see, Sean, I'm hoping that he will overcome my father someday. He doesn't like you. And his continued resistance is weakening me. But you are weakened? Come on, Edna, what's wrong with you? Huh? Listen, since I came back from Amsterdam, you have been the only woman I have loved. And I am ready to sacrifice my life for you. Well, can't you do the same for me? I ignored my father. I'm continuing to say Sean. Because deep inside of me, he was the best. He loved me. And was always there for me. So, what happened? I mean, how did you end up in prison? Oh my goodness! This is not happening! Sean! You were making love to a woman and she died in your apartment! What's the thing are you telling me? What's it, Edna? I am sorry, okay? I mean, it's not as you think. Okay, fine. She was a banker. She was the one that threw herself at me. She threw herself at you and you brought her home. Are you this irresponsible? <sighs> My father was right about you after all. Listen, Edna. I mean, it's a good thing you came in a time such as this. All I want from you is help me get rid of that body. That's all. Excuse me? I should do what? And now how else do you want to show me you love me? Huh? Fine, I admit. It's a mistake on my own part. Fine. Okay, bringing that bitch home was a mistake on my own part. And failure to also let her go while she was screaming was also a mistake. But come on, girl, that bitch is dead. She's dead. Listen, girl. Listen. All I want is for you to help me get out of this mess. Please! What? Before the girl died in his apartment, did you manage to send an urgent message to a brother of hers who was a member of the special school saying that someone was taking her against her wish? I believe she sent the address of her location. I was still in his apartment, trying to figure out what to do. When the officers invaded the place, and we were caught with our events, 
sorry. You see, this is very bad. Very bad. I don't know, no. But I know your case is really, really bad. We are charged with murder. I explained everything to my father. But he was very angry. And sent me to jail. What happened to Sean? Sean? He's in jail too. But I will never set my eyes on him. Because men and female inmates don't meet. But each time I remember what he did to me. How he betrayed me. By sleeping with that, that girl to the point of having her die in his apartment. I feel like, I feel like ripping his flesh off his bones. Sorry, sorry. I have been here. Thinking that my life has been very rough. But yours is tougher. And I feel your pains. It's, it's, it's okay. Belinda told me that my dad is thinking of signing my billboard. For indeed, I'm So have you listened to your story? I'll make you a promise. What? I will make a statement to my father on your behalf. to death. Oh, come on, this is too much. Listen to me. I think you should stop doing this to yourself. Okay? Listen, try and give yourself a chance. At least find someone else who will love you or even appreciate you like that. Okay? Am I not going to bed? Let me ask you. At least, enough to help you get out of bad state. Look at me. Am I not pretty enough? Why not you give me a chance? A chance to show you how beautiful life can be. And trust me, it will be way beautiful than what it is. Seriously, Edna, my friend, no, my sister. By the grace of God, you form my hand. Hey! When you were talking about Sean, and the way his name sounds, Sean, I thought you were talking about one serious human being. Are you still going to blame me? No. No. I will, I'm not blaming you. I am not blaming you. But as a friend, I have to tell you the truth. You see all these Nigerian guys that live in Europe, doing drugs, doing 419. They should not attract the attention of any serious babe. They should not. They are all trash. All of them trash. You see me? 
Even me, a village girl. Ha! They have been coming, trying their luck, but they did not succeed. Ha! Edna, senior babe like you, you fell for that nonsense. How? Why? Don't try you. Sarah, it was a mistake. A mistake I regret. Have we not gone beyond this already? I've prayed Belinda to inform my father about you. And I'm certain we may live here together. him this fast. Okay. I actually didn't mean for that to happen. Okay. Now here is it. I was just passing by and I found his door. So I slipped in. <laughs> I didn't really have to say much because he was drunk. Wow. This is good. This is so good. You see why I said you're the smartest amongst those dummies they brought here? Here, okay. I got in. Mm -hmm. And we started kissing. And a few seconds later, he fell on me. Wow. <laughs> so I took off his coat. I took mine off as well. And we didn't do anything actually. Royal game. 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 Why have you decided to live your life this way? Hmm? Why have you decided... You can go. Why have you decided to live your life this way? There's a 
beautiful girl by your side. Why are you just throwing her away? Mother, she is not my type of woman. If she is not your type of woman, why don't you make her become your type? Oh, by the way, if she's not your type of woman, why did you get intimate with her? That was a mistake that will never happen again. I've told you countless times. You did tell me it was a mistake. But you know, some mistakes can be lovely. Mara, give me time to come around. The truth is, I am finding it very difficult to forget about Sarah. I miss her. Oh, please, please, son. Don't mention that name here. Very well, then. You said I should give you some time. Time you shall get. But remember that delay is dangerous. Everything is possible. Strange things happen every day. For royalty is big business. Hello. Hmm? How are you doing? Fine. Well, your bill bonds have been signed. Huh? And your father is waiting outside. So you both can come with me right now. Ah! Don't worry, I'll take you there. Hmm, I like the sound of that. I have a condo in Vegas. Whoa. In Vegas, this is good money. to do that game. Please, just fill it out. Proposed to you? And I said yes! Idly, yet now my daughter is not meant to be in the prison because she's not the principal suspect. But she was unlucky to be at the wrong place and at the wrong time. I allowed her to suffer in that prison to pay for her disobedience. 
Because she had someone to advise her, and that's me, her father. But for you... I heard how your father ended up a gambler. Anyway, as long as you live here, I will advise that you try as much as possible to draw closer to decency. A decent one can open any door. Sir, I'm short of words, to be honest. I mean, when I thought my world had crumbled, you came in and became a black one to me. I promise you, sir, as long as I live here, I will work towards the same scene as you have advised. I'm really grateful. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. May he continue to bless you. Hello. Good morning, daughter. I'm sure you've not said that many things about me. I'm a changed person, Dad. And you can attest to that. Yes. I am very happy to have you back and And I believe that by now you would have known why I did what I did. It's because I see God in all of these. And I'm hoping you've learned your lessons. Hmm? Make sure that your friend is very comfortable. Make her feel so much at home, okay? If you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay? Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. May God continue to bless you. Thank you, Edna. She's crying. So <laughs> then, mm. you know this whole royal wedding process thing is still very confusing to me. <laughs> no, come on, that is because you've not been paying attention to what happens within the world of royalty. And permit me to say, it's not cool. It's a minus for an outstanding pig like you. Check it out now. Ouch, man! Oh, that's a very mild insult. Don't you think so? Uh, but, but not to worry. I'll take it because of the closeness you share with my man. <laughs> Come on, Snow. How can I insult you? How can I insult a, our beautiful wife-to-be? No, I did not. I'm just bothered with the fact that you don't understand the importance of a royal blessing. That's exactly why I'm asking. You know, my man actually proposed to me and I said yes. So we're game, Archman. <laughs> I don't know why we're not planning the wedding. I mean, the most glorious wedding of the century. <laughs> yes, because my friends are going to come from all over the world. Name them. Canada, uh -huh. USA, uh -huh. UK, uh -huh. just say it, like, <laughs> like they're, they're going to be coming down here mm. to our Kokwa kingdom. <laughs> yes, for the wedding of snow, the only snow in Africa. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It is, though. The only snow that continues to shine when everything has faded away. Say it again, baby. Uh, you see, I understand your excitement. I do. Because for me, you are marrying the best man on earth. I'm saying it. When people come, you say you are marrying Lotana, the best man yes! at the home. I'm marrying the best man in the world. The truth is that I'm not saying this because is my friend. No! I'm saying this because he is the best. And let me tell you, anybody that finds him, Lutanda, he she has found the best thing in the world. And the Bible can attest to that. Oh, you. <laughs> you need to come and see how I've been blowing your name. You know, I'm like they always to. say, mm -hmm. old wine is always the best wine. I brought this wine so we can celebrate this moment as we look forward to a wonderful marriage and a happy palace. Oh, what are we waiting sweetheart. for? Auntie John's the best man in the whole world. Come mm. here. Mm. Don't, mm. 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 Yeah, don't worry, soon <laughs> I'll join you people. Very soon. Very, very soon. Oh. After
after the blessing and somebody has started enjoying the new wife I gave him. I just pray that person remembers this woman who started it all. <laughs> Mom, huh? for once I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, your, your, your royal majesty, even when he doesn't remember, I am going to make him remember that. What is my job? My job is to make him remember things he has forgotten. That is why I'm here. <laughs> that is it. Okay, Snow. here we go. Uh -huh. Ooh. <laughs> you see, I know it is means very well. I was personally involved in his emergence as king. And since then, he has been my very personal friend. There's no function in that palace she has failed to invite me to. Yes, the king is a very good man. Please, sir, can you eat your food without trying to justify anyone? The same people who drugged you and threw you into detention on some trumped up charges are the people you refer to as good? Oh, please. I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about the king. He was the one who employed me at the palace. At a point, I became afraid as it appeared that he was aiming at something different. But he was genuine. He is a good man. I know what I'm saying. Oh, and I was wondering why he did nothing when they threw you out of that palace mm -hmm. and connived with the police to detain you. Like, the king was helpless. I could see it in his eyes. I was even shocked when I saw the pictures. I mean, they looked so real. He could have done something if he could. Oh yeah. Just like Edna said, go ahead and eat your food. I have set every machinery in motion to unravel what actually happened. And if there is anyone to bring to justice, I must do that for you. Do that for me. Sir, my dear, you need to ask who your father truly is. I, it's injustice in all forms, in all shades and colors. I'm already following it up, and I'm sure something must turn up. Thank you so much, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your food, okay? Thank you. Beautiful people, I tell you, this is going to be the greatest wedding ever. Oh, yeah? And in view of this, I've started making special arrangements in this regard. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I've booked an appointment with the best designer in Italy. The person will be responsible for the suit we are going to wear in this wedding. Whoa. He will give us the best design ever. <laughs> I'm not even done, I've not even started. I've also booked an appointment with the greatest designer in Spain, Barcelona to be precise. And I called her, I told her, you are going to be responsible for the wedding dress she is going to wear in the wedding. The beautiful snow that continued to shine when everything has faded away. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, people, after this royal blessing, Lutana, we are going to proceed straight to Europe for shopping. Because the king himself, your father, has promised that he is going to foot the bill. This is wonderful. Well spoken, Mucheng. Thank you. But the truth is, we are Africans, proud ones at that. So whatever we are going to wear on my wedding day will be made in Africa.
Go straight to why we are here. Royal blessings for a rigorous process that finally gave birth to a glorious selection. Her name is Snow, and I am hoping that the whiteness of her status will brighten the world of my son, the prince and heir to the throne of. A copper kingdom. <laughs> Therefore, I stand on the authority of my fathers. I hereby call. Where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? This was not meant to be. <laughs> Lutana! Listen, please. Not today. Not, not like this. Not now. I'm begging you. Please, don't. 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 See, my, my family members, they're all here. Don't try no, it. Please. Chill, relax. Go to See, you need to consider the consequences of what you're about to do now. Consider it. Do you remember when I said I've made every arrangement in Spain, in Italy, the Europe? I dash you. Huh? Take her to Europe what so that snow can follow me. My love, don't, 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 I do not want them to meet me here, please. And who told you that anybody can hurt you while you're in the house? Listen to me, sir. I adopted you the moment my daughter told me all that you have been through. Okay? And it was because of you that I decided to punish that area commander that collaborated with the queen to throw you out of the palace. You are free now. You have your life. Don't let anybody or anything intimidate you, Sarah. I remember and I know everything you did for me. And I will appreciate you forever. You are now like a father to me. Then let's stay to him and stay. Rushing back to Nando will not solve anything. Exactly. You have your life to live, Sarah. And the place you saw back there, was already going on with his life. And now why are you sounding this way? Why are you sounding as if you didn't see what happened there? Our arrival interrupted what they were doing. And that's exactly what I planned to achieve. I wanted to know whether that young man truly loves you. I want to know whether he had a hand in the plans to throw you out of that palace. But see now he left everybody, the wife to be, and all that are gathered his parents to come after you. Shows that he has been looking for you. Stand up, stand up, stand up, my dear. Listen, I want to advise you. Give that young man a chance, please. Um, I'm sorry, sir. I, I can't face him right now. The burden of what happened is still very fresh. I'm going back to my village is the only thing on my mind right now. I wholly appreciate your influence in my life. But I'm sorry, I have to leave. Dad, we cannot stop her if she wants to go. 
I feel her frustration and I know she will find her bearing with time. Do you know me? As a do you know the man that is sitting right beside you? Yeah, with all due respect, sir, I know you as Sir Leonard Okeke, the reputable lawyer of Akokwa, that later became a judge. Presently, you are Justice Leonard Okeke. Quite impressive. Can you explain why I came with a young lady from Nando to your place today? I mean, Sarah Kwanando. I, I, I can't explain, sir, but the truth is Sarah came into my life when I was depressed, down, and emotionally traumatized. In fact, she revived me. She brought back life. I know all that already. Because she has told me a lot about you. But let me ask you, if you love her that much as you have professed, why did you betray her? Sir, I, I didn't betray her. I love her from the depth of my heart. To the extent that I rejected all my mother planned. Even all the ladies she brought for me, I rejected them all because of Sarah. But, sir, please, can we not go into all that? I'm here to see Sarah. I need to reconcile with her. I have heard all that you went through how you nearly went into depression because of what your father did that led to the untimely exit of your lovely wife. Yes, sir. I also lost my lovely son along the line. But that's all in the past. I need to see Sarah, please. I actually asked the gate man to open the gate for you because somehow I feel your frustration and I want to help you. Thank you, sir. Sir, please, where, where can I see Sarah? I need to see her. Sarah is not here now. Yes. She has gone back to Nando. Are you serious? And if you must see her, then get ready to go to Nando. Lisa, where exactly in London? I can leave first thing tomorrow morning. Is just because of me. Sarah, I am so sorry. I am so ashamed of myself. I, I have failed you as a father. Hey, I am just praying and hoping you will find a place in your heart to forgive and to forget. Father, it's okay. Really. I mean, those things are all in the past. I mean, we still can't deny the fact that this whole experience has made me become a better person. Mother, take a look at me. I am different now. Yes, like mother. Yes. Um, Father, I, I need to see Marcos. This night? Yes. Why would you think of seeing Marcos after all the things he did to you? Father, that is the reason I need to see him. I need to ask him questions. I need to know why he did whatever he did to me. Unfortunately, Marcos is not in this land. For since he left, even before you, nobody has sighted him anywhere in this kingdom. So you don't need to risk yourself coming to see Marcos this time. He does not exist. So where could he be? Where? Nobody knows. And do yourself a favor, forget Marcos. Can't you just go inside and uh, think of how you can take a shower, freshen up? 
Fuck his mouth. Yeah, come on. Yes, young man. Who are you and what you want with my daughter? Sorry I barged into your compound this way. My name is Lotanna. Prince Lotanna of Akopa. Guys, I am standing behind my house right now. How could you do that, Edna? I'm so sorry, Sarah. But that is not enough to get you this agitated. What's going on there? Everyone, eh? Yes, sir. Come. Your sorries would help me right now. For the very first time, a credible man is coming to look for you and you run to behind the house. What's the of this? Our father, is he gone? How can he go? I understand that is the prince of Akopwa Kingdom. Oh. And from the look of things, he has come to apologize to you for what they did. Why are you standing here? Let's go see him. Our father, I won't see him. Why? I won't. I can't see him. Just tell him to go. Tell him I traveled yesterday. You what? You want to make me to start telling some sheep lies? The same person that saw you running into, into this place? That you can tell him that you're not here? That you travel? How can I say that? Okay, Let's go. Father, I cannot see him. Just try and figure out something to tell him. I am not going to see him. Don't even try to convince me. I won't. Make sure he leaves, please. that she's still very angry with you. 
I don't know what our reasons are. But we cannot keep talking. So uh, the best thing is for you to go and uh, make us come to some other time in the future and come back again. Thank you, sir. Your message is clear, but help me pass this message. Tell Sarah that I am very, very sorry for everything. But the truth is, I love Sarah and I will never give up on her. Sarah, do you hear that? I love you, Sarah, and I will never, ever give up on you. Good day, sir. Makani unanya kasifeni leo Omoni huronanya Apu obye kolugi nenu Asime buoni huronanya Ogadigi ko wage aguo The prince of a kukwa kingdom Now my My car, please. Yes. So you've taken all this cheap kai kai. You should take every month. So you've taken it today because that is the only thing stimulating you. You will do. To think you can set my car, please. Do you know how much I bought this? Whatever, whatever. Do you know? Do you know if I sell you to Ogwego, the money I will realize that you cannot even buy this car. Come here. Come here. Just because I stopped to say hi to you, this is what I get. What do you so say? I cannot stop to say hi to you. What do I have to do with you? What do you have to do with me? Yes! Uh -huh. You people, you people uh, asked me to betray my sister, promising me five million naira. Eh? I betrayed my own sister from the same land in Nando. A land of peace and progress. What did I get from you? You, you planted no rubbish into my room. I call me a thief. Oh yes, I moved on. Um, Marcos, mm. relax. Who are we fighting? I did not stop for us to start fighting. Remember, we are friends. You know, I don't look for trouble. I did not stop to start looking for trouble. I only stopped to say hi. See, you know, God works in a mysterious way. God has a reason he asked me to, to follow this route because he knows I was going to run into you. Now, now, I know you have something to tell me, but can I buy you a drink? I know you like drink. Can I buy any type of drink you want to drink? I'll buy it. Uh... Oh, Sarah! Why are you doing this? Father, you won't understand why I'm doing this, but I have to go. But I promised this young man that I was going to talk to you. I asked him to go and come back. The more reason I have to leave, Father. I have saved my number in your phone. I'll call you and I'll try to keep in touch more often. Okay. Where exactly are you going? You are going back to the judge or back to your new friend? What? Don't worry about me, Father. I will be fine. And please, if Lutana comes back here, please do not give him audience. Call you. The only good man. But I'll call you when I arrive. What is 
these days. Just as I started to think that she has changed back to her mother. She has turned to a different thing entirely. going to call you names uh, but you should know deep down in your heart you are a big fool no, 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 you no. are a big fool oh, good see i've been trying to see sarah ever since and i apologize to her for what i did you know, I, I feel very bad now everything was a setup by by the queen and snow i'm telling you they were the ones that gave me the juice that was dropped. I did everything as instructed. But then what did I get? I got nothing. You got nothing because you are a fool. And because you are a very greedy uh, man. Oh, they call it a game. Shut up. I was trying to know the type of game. <laughs> Whether if it is you know, or or Marcos, or, will you or, shut up your mouth? I'm going to call the prince now. I'll invite him over here. When he comes here, are you going to repeat everything you've told me in his presence? Why not? Why not? If telling him all that I did to her was so any problem, then I, I, I will do it. I will do it. Provided you must assure me uh, that he will not try to arrest me. Eh? Eh? Don't worry, he will not arrest you. Yeah, hello, Lutana. Of the four maidens Miss Henrietta brought here, after my investigations, you seem to be the only genuine one. Excuse me? Mother, you got me investigated. Exactly. Snow Nkemchika Anene, daughter of Chief Emeka Anene, CEO Annex Brewers, right? Right. Good. So, why then are you saying all this to me? I believe you're civilized enough to know when the deal is up. When the deal is up? What does that mean? I'm of the opinion that we have lost this battle already. Even the area commander told me point blank that he's expunging himself from the process. And with that, my cover will be blown. So we're ending it up now. I believe that a good man will, have, will definitely come your way again. Never. Yes. Never. Like you rightly talked about civilization. I can be civil enough to lose my man to a woman of class and not a classless nonentity from Nando or wherever. I will not. No, I won't. So, what do you intend to do? Remember a renowned judge has taken her in as a daughter. Nonsense. Nonsense. Ara nonsense. I don't care who takes her in or whatever. I don't care. Listen to me, mother. I will fight this battle. I sure will. I will fight it to the very end. I will. I won't give up. You told me yourself that winners don't quit. I don't intend to quit. So I will not. Listen, you are a good woman, a very good woman. I want to be where you are. I want to carry your grandchildren. 
bear them for you, watch them grow. I want to be a wife to your son. Please let me. Please. I gave him all the information I have about you. But I didn't know he would take the pains of traveling all the way to Nandu to see you. He came to my father's compound and actually threatened to keep coming until I give him audience. And then you ran back to this place. Sarah. Why can't you give that young man a second chance? From my experiences in this life, and from all I have seen so far, that young man loves you. And I believe he means well. No, my father has joined the league. Can we have this discussion without anybody mentioning love? The word love does not exist. And I will appreciate it if we read this topic. Well, let me give you a shot, my dear. My darling daughter, love truly exists. Love is the strongest emotion anyone can feel, especially when it is real. For that young man to abandon all the women and the women, the very wife that the mother picked for him, and travel all the way to Nando in search of Sarah, it shows absolutely that he loves you, he is real. And I maintain, you give him a chance. Miss Harita, you should be talking about the issue on ground. Why are you not talking about that? Oh, you want to tell me? You don't know the reason I'm here? Among all the things I ever claimed to be, a psychic is never one of them. So, young lady, I cannot know why you're here unless you let me know. Well, I'll tell you. The process you set up was a very fraudulent one. You even went as far as collecting bread from some of the girls you brought, Miss Henrietta. And now let me ask you, why in this world would you expose a lady in my class to such level of ridicule? Listen. The Queen Mother confirmed to me that you were the one she wanted for the prince. She confirmed that you exhibited the quality and the class. Mm -hmm. And what did she do? She abandoned for some local, irritating, and village, dirty looking girl. <sighs> Can you readily define the term local girl? Let us not talk like unintelligent people. Efforts were made to make you the queen of Akokwa. But it did not work out. Can't you learn how to live with it? Never. I won't. I am not known for failure. So there is no way I am giving up on this. No, I will fight it till the end. So what are you going to do? Kill the innocent girl that came into the palace by divine providence because you want to be queen at all costs? Miss No, can you stand the after effects? Can you? Just when I was about to be the chosen. And this is happening to me. I don't get it. Why? Why? Put yourself together. Just put yourself together. And move on. You may be consumed if you go into this battle. Let this light. And I can assure you that your man will come at appointed time. Let it be. Let it be. Please. I know what to love is. I've been in love before. I went to prison because of love. 
don't say it as if I'm dismissing you. But please, don't talk to me about love. Because love as a topic deeply puts me off. But love is the only thing that can heal me now. I've come to realize that Sarah is all I need. Without her, I am ruined. Hello? Am I communicating? You proposed to that young woman. You gave her a ring. You presented her to your parents as your choice of wife. Why then did you connive with the useless area commander to destroy her? Listen dear, no matter how I try to explain this, you will never understand. But please, Sarah is all I need in my life now. If you can help me see Sarah today, I will appreciate it for the rest of my life. Please. Why in this world did I agree to go back to that palace? They already ranked me an immoral woman. He threw me out, connived with police officers, and sent me to detention. Why did I finally accept to go back there? Yes, who's there? that fought you are all down, but you are still standing tall. It's for a purpose, Sarah. Please, I beg you, let my go, my go. Like I said before, I'm ready to right our wrongs. Please. Sarah, please, will you marry me? I am still talking and you are holding him. Will you take those filthy hands off my son? Keep it low, man. I will let you go on one condition. What? Come give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, my princess. I love you too, my prince. <laughs> Mama, we're not going to investigate this <laughs>
He would decide to lock up himself. He would decide to be.